Today on Real Life, our weekly Signs and Wonders program with teaching from the Word by Pastor Gary Mitrick. We believe God for your miracle and praise and worship for Pastor Myra Bell. Today on Real Life. loves you. Jesus died for you. The Holy Spirit, He empowers you, and the Bible is our guide to abundant life. I'm Don Black with Noma Bixler and Gary Mitrick, <laughs> Pastor Gary. We are in our Signs and Wonders program, and we're so glad that you're here. Now, I'm going to just start like this. I'm going to tell you this. You are not watching this program because you just happen to. That's right. God has an appointment with you Right now, he has a promise that he's made to you that you are standing on and we're going to stand with you. We're going to believe that today is a day of miracles in your life. God has something very special for you today and you tuned into the right place. That's what this program is all about, Norma. Yes, it is. And I'm excited to wonder what he's going to do, Gary. <laughs> what he's going to do, Don. Well, I can't tell you exactly, but I can tell you he's going to change people's lives. Well, I love what you said. The Holy Spirit empowers us. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is here with power. So whatever you need in your life, know that the power of the Lord is present to heal you, to restore, to deliver, to provide, to save. My, there's nothing impossible for God to do, Don. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, I was thinking about this as, as I was preparing for today's program, and I, was, had a, I got a, a life example I want to share with you because I'll share with you at home. We've done some remodeling work in our kitchen, and so some of our stuff is in different places. Miraculous. Miraculous indeed. <laughs> God is a good God. He gives us blessings. He'll give you the desires of our heart. So anyway, my toaster was there, and I like to have toast in the morning, and so I put, I put the toast in, and it wouldn't go, it wouldn't go down. And, you know, the kind of toaster we have, you, you got to push it down. And, and then I look back through the, through the jumble of cords, and guess what happened? Through the changes, the toaster wasn't plugged in. Mm -hmm. So the toaster didn't do its job until I plugged it in. You know, God has created you and me. He's given us His Holy Spirit. He's given us His gifts. He's given us His Word. He's given us salvation. Praise God for all that He's given to us. He's shown His love to us. But until we plug in, and plugging in is receiving the Holy Spirit, asking Him That's to right. fill us fresh. Fill us fresh today, God, for all that you have. When we're plugged into the Holy Spirit, then the toaster works. <laughs> Amen? Amen. God will make, make your life today into something that you want it to be, He wants it to be. But God to be plugged into the Holy That's Spirit. That's right. I like, when I lift my hands, I like to think of my arms as two receptacles. That's just right connecting with God, plugging in exactly right. and just making contact with the Lord. And when we do, good things always happen. The Bible says that we, we, we are branches that we need to abide in the vine. So get connected that today. That was a scripture I read this morning before I ate breakfast. <laughs> the, the abide in the vine. Yeah. He's with the vine. God's without him, we're nothing. That's right. Well, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Let's do it together. Let's lift our hands. Myra, if you'll just give us a little bit of, a, of music. A little, Jesus. I haven't introduced you yet, but let's, let's lift our hands and just see as, Gary, as Pastor Gary said, see yourself plugging into the divine power of God. Jesus. The supernatural oh. presence of God, His Spirit among, all around you. You're reaching into that and you're plugging into His presence. Father, download into us now yes. your spirit, your gifts, your calling, Bring healing and health. Father, bring deliverance. Bring new minds and new life into our bodies, Lord. We receive you, Holy Spirit. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You know, Don, when somebody lifted their arms, just when you encouraged us, 
they just felt this weight just lift off oh, of them. Oh, wonderful. Amen. Amen. Just Amen. lifted right, you know, because that's a sign of surrender. That's casting our cares on him. And something that just just been so heavy on you just lifted and broke off of you today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If that's you, call us. Tell us. Tell us. Call us and tell us what happened. Share your testimony. Let that seed get in good ground and grow out in your life. Call 888-665-4483 and say, that's me. I'm free in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You know, Arlene's not able to be with us today. She's uh, not, not here with us. Let's pray for her. As, as God continues to heal and restore her. I know she'll that he, she'll he, be he, back with us next week. Oh, I know she will be. I, and we miss you. Arlene, if you're watching the program, we miss you when you're not here. She's a mighty woman of God, not woman of faith. Same. No, it's not. As she's <laughs> always said on her program, it just wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> well, that's the way it, it is with us, Arlene. We love you, and we know that God's hand is taking you to that new place. Uh, it's, a, it's, 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 it's good to have. But, uh, Pastor, thank you for being here. And, Norma? Well, it wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> be a lonely place here <laughs> without you. But you we know, have our prayer partners. Yes, we have prayer partners. And I see that they're already busy on the phone. And, you know, don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Self-pity is not a good thing. Amen. And uh, so what you need to do is you need to decide, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be like this anymore. I'm... I'm going to quit hiding from people and staying in the house and having the curtains drawn and, and not going out. You know what? You've made a good decision. So you need to call a prayer partner. You know, the Bible says that when two people agree, he hears from heaven. And heaven's interested in you, but you've got to do your part now. You've got to get up and go over and dial the number, 888 Six six five four four eight three. You may be in California. You may be in Tennessee. You might be right here in Pittsburgh. But wherever you are, I know you need to call because our prayer partners love the Lord and they have been here and waited on people and called and blessed them. And you need to take your turn. Mm. I mean, people have paid to keep us on the air so that you could get a blessing. Mm. So don't miss it. 888-665-4483. Is that good? No, I couldn't do, it, <laughs> couldn't do it any better. You did a fantastic job explaining what we do. And you may be in a different part of the world. A lot of folks are watching Cornerstone in different countries around the world. Send us an email at family at ctvn.org. I'm going to get you to put that email address up on the screen because we'd love to hear from you too. Maybe you can't Absolutely. call us, but you want to send us an email and tell us what God's doing in your life. There's no distance in the spirit. There's, right. there's no distance. Right. There's no distance in time. God is today, but you know what? God it was yesterday, and God is tomorrow. In his world, there is no gaps in time. We have to understand that as we walk in him, we are always in his perfect place. We don't have to wait for God. He's with us right now. Amen. He was with us yesterday. He's already waiting for us for tomorrow. There's no distance in that time. So we're so thankful that you're part of the family. All of Norma's prayer team, thankful that you're part of that. You've gotten just got a message from Norma. Thank you for your diligent prayers, for your fighting with us in faith, in standing with us in faith. And I'm also thankful for Pastor Myra Bell. She uh, just, we just did a little intro with her before, but she's with us at Living, from We're Living Away Christian Fellowship in Pittsburgh. She's a tremendous a gifted woman of God in music and the word. And that's what we're going to go now. Myra, lead us as she sings, Lord, lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises.
Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. He is worthy. It's time for God's Word for real life. If you have the devotional, get it out right now. Get it ready, and let's read together out of 1 John 5, 14 and 15. The Word says, Now this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked Him for. Wow, what a great promise from God's Word. He, we have that confidence in Him. God doesn't keep secrets about what He wants. Did you know that? God doesn't keep secrets. He's not hiding from you. He communicates with us via the Holy Spirit in many ways. He speaks to us through the Word, through the Bible, directly into our spirits. He uses other people to confirm His will. That's what happens here on, on Cornerstone. You hear from a teaching or the preaching or here on, on, the, uh, on the program, He confirms His will through another person. He anoints music, Pastor Myra, books, television, and radio programs. He speaks through ministry gifts, like the, the gift of the teacher, the gift of the pastor, the gift of a prophet, of an apostle, out of an evangelist, out of Ephesians 4. God isn't hard to hear, and he's not keeping secrets when we have ears to listen. That's God's word for real life. Monday on Real Life, Abby Turner Michael gives great advice about homeowners insurance on real money. The moms talk relationship priorities. Who comes first, your spouse or your kids? Find out on the next Mom Talk. And Jokinen Marcelino joins the Real Life team to talk about the movie, The Identical, the newest release from his film company. That's Monday on Real Life. Is this your first time watching Cornerstone Network? Welcome, we are honored that you are watching us, the Good News Station. New friends, we want to give you a special free gift. You'll receive our founder, Russ Bixler's book, Faith Works, the incredible story of how CTVN was created through faith. You'll also receive our real life newsletter, packed with schedule information, viewer testimonies, and behind the scenes stories. Call us and let us get to know you. Hey friends, the Cornerstone Block Party is happening this Saturday. Join us as we listen to Christian music artist Brian Duncan during our Living Room Concert Series. And later we're watching Hard Flip, a film about a team that wants to become a professional skater. And you might even get to see me try out some of my skateboarding tricks. <laughs> well, we'll be here waiting with a first aid kit. Don't forget to tune in Saturday from 6 to 9 for the Cornerstone, Cornerstone Block Party. Party. A highly prophetic Passover is only a few weeks away, and we want to help you prepare for what God will do and the important events He is signaling. When you give in the month of March, you will receive our Easter and Passover prophecy chart. This brief, easy to read resource will help you discover the origins of Passover, understand the Jewish and Christian significance of this holiday, and join thousands of fellow believers in prayer with the special Passion Week prayer guide. Passover commemorates God's deliverance of Israel from slavery in Egypt, sparing their firstborn through the blood of a lamb sprinkled on their doorposts. It also foreshadows the work of Christ on the cross, the ultimate Passover lamb. Not a regular partner with us? Call us today to join the Cornerstone Network family. Let's discover the blessings of Passover and Passion Week together. I want, I want to take just a minute as an introduction to that chart that you just saw about the Passover uh, Passion of the, of, of the Christ week. You know, I'm working on this. It's, it's <clears throat> being finished right now. And I want you to, if you have an interest in timelines, the history, and the facts, you know, kind of the details of what happened during the Passover week, how the Jewish tradition and Christian faith merges there's a merging point there at Passover and Easter and the Resurrection and Good Friday. Just a tremendous amount of wisdom that we can have. We're going to get that into your hands. And as you go through Holy Week, you'll see it from a whole different perspective and see how God has started 
way back, thousands of years ago, to get us to where we are today, to take us to where he's going to take us. Just an exciting time, Pastor, to see the Lord working in that way. And you're come today to, to bring a word from God for us for this minute, a word for this minute for our family. That's right. So we want to encourage you as we do, if you need prayer, if there's something or someone on your heart, you know, this is a window. This is an opportunity, but you need to seize it. You need to respond in faith and go to your phone, 888-665-4483. The prayer partner will agree with you. They'll bring us all the requests. We are going to agree with you. We're going to believe for some miracles, for some right. turnarounds, That's some right. breakthroughs in your life. Yes. I want to share a wonderful story out of Mark's Gospel, chapter 2. It says, and again... Jesus, he entered into Capernaum after some days. And I like this. It was heard that he was in the house. <laughs> you know, Jesus is in the house today. Amen. You and I need to get excited when we go to the house of the Lord, when we welcome the Lord's presence into our lives and into our houses. That's right. Because God always goes where he's invited. And immediately, it says, many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them, not even near the door. So Jesus has this massive crowd of people that come to see him. And what does he do? He preached the word to them. Mm. I want to pause right there. The Bible says in Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. <clears throat> it is so important that you and I put ourselves in positions where we are regularly and continually hearing the Word of God. That's one of the purposes of Cornerstone Network. That's, right. That's why we are That's right. here today to declare, to proclaim. That's what the word preach means. To proclaim God's Word to you. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you hear the word? Faith comes alive Amen. in you. Amen. Without faith, it says in Hebrews 11, 6, it's impossible for you to please God. So with the, the word mixed with faith is what can produce life and healing and miracles. Now listen to what it says after they heard the word. It says there in Mark chapter 2, Then they came to him bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. And I love this. When Jesus saw their faith. You know, faith is an intangible in our lives. But what happens? We, we, we see the actions of our faith. That's right. Come on. Jesus witnessed the fruit of their faith. That's right. And, and, and what did they do? First, they, they heard Jesus was in the house, so there was an expectancy. The Lord's here. Right. The Lord is here. Right. right now, wherever you're watching, the Lord is here. Amen. Second of all, he preached the word. The word is going forth. And faith comes by hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in the Isaiah 55, the word will not go out void and return void, mm -hmm. but it will accomplish what the Lord has sent it to perform. Yeah. But then what's the third thing that those four friends did? They responded to the word. They rose up. In faith. How do we know they rose in faith? Because the Bible said Jesus saw their faith. Mm -hmm. And they took their friend. They couldn't get near the house. They couldn't get in the house. So they climb up on the roof. 
and they tore the roof off and lowered their friend down right in the presence of Jesus. Can I tell you that sometimes right before you receive your greatest miracle and breakthrough, you're going to come up against some of the greatest resistance and hindrances you've ever had? What if those four friends would have said, oh, you know what, it's too sad, it's, it's so crowded, there's no room to we get in. We can't do anything about it. We just need to go home. You know? <laughs> they, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. <laughs> they were determined. <laughs> That's right. They were You've got to be determined. That's the word. Sometimes you're going to be hindered right before your greatest miracle. You are going to have resistance. Why? Because... The enemy is going to do his best to keep you, to keep you from receiving what God has for you. But those four friends climbed up, they tore the roof off. I love what it says there in that passage. They broke through. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to say today yes. Come on is now. a day of breakthrough Come for on. you. Yes. Today is your day. Maybe you have felt great resistance. Maybe you feel like you've been hindered or discouraged or like Norma, you just have said, I, there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to give up. No, that's not God's will for you. You need to be determined. You need to persevere. You are an overcomer in Christ. I like that And word. God has a breakthrough Amen. for you. Amen. Hallelujah. So what did Jesus do? He said to the paralyzed man, he said, really, what difference does it make if I say your sins are forgiven or take up your bed and walk? Now, not in every case, but in this man's case, his sickness was rooted to a sin, was tied to a sin. And so the man responds. He takes up his bed and he walks. And I love what it says down in verse 12. It says that the people said, wow, this is amazing. We have never seen anything like this. That's right. Are you ready for God to do something maybe you've never seen before? Something maybe God's never done for you before. They were all amazed. They, they, they glorified God. I, I'm, I'm ready for God to do some new things. I'm ready Hallelujah. for God to do some fresh things. Hallelujah. I'm ready for God to do things we've never seen before. Hallelujah. Number one, he's in the house. Amen. The Lord is here. Number two, the word is going forth and faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Number three, you've got to respond to that word. The number is there. I want you to get up and put some legs on your faith. Respond to the word. Call the prayer partner. Say, this is what I'm believing for. I need a breakthrough in my life. Maybe I've been hindered. Maybe I've been discouraged. But I have heard the word today, and my faith is coming alive. And I believe today is my day for a breakthrough. 888. 665-4483. Please go to the phone. Go to the phone now. Seize this moment because Dawn, I believe God has a breakthrough. He wants to amaze Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. He's an amazing God and he wants to amaze his people. And it's because God's glory will be manifest. That's right. For us, it'd be better to go to be with the Lord. Remember what Paul said? It's better for me to go, but for your sake I stay. So if you're a believer, you've received Jesus as your Savior, our best place is to be with God. But we're not there. He's, we're here. So we're here for a purpose. That's right. We're here for his mission. And I want us to call attention to the friends that carried this guy. He had friends that had faith. Yes. Because his friends had to pick him up. He, he wasn't able to walk, so he couldn't take himself but he had friends that had faith. And he, they, they picked him up, they carried him, they came into this scene, you know, and in those days, the houses were in a courtyard-like, 
and there was an outside living area, and then there was an inside sleeping area. They cooked on the outside of the of the area, and and it was a thatch roof. It was made of thatch. Yes. So they couldn't get into the courtyard. They couldn't get into the house. So they went up around back. They got up on the wall, and they went up on top of the roof. Well, now they had a plan, <laughs> right? They had a plan. They didn't go up to the roof to just think they're going to be standing there. They dug out the thatch, and that thatch, in some cases, could be a foot or more right, thick. Right. Right. It wasn't just a real thin letter. They had to dig. And then they had to, when it says breakthrough, there was a breakthrough. Amen. Because it was a thatch with mud, and it broke through. Now, can you imagine Jesus? He's in the house. He's teaching. It's full, and here comes the roof comes down. <laughs> the roof, and, it, and it wasn't a little hole because no. they had to lower the man on, 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 this, these, on this bed. bed. Yes. So I had to lower the whole bed through the roof. And so I, I want you to pay attention to the men that carried him, did all that work, and put him through the hole. Now, the scripture doesn't tell us that they went through the hole, too. So we don't know if they were up on the roof when all the miracles happened. And they probably were watching down through the hole. But you know somebody that needs a miracle. You know somebody that's hurt. They may not be physically hurt. Maybe they're emotionally hurt. Maybe their heart's broken. Maybe they don't have any hope. And you know them. Won't you be that kind of friend to them? Yes. Won't you reach out to them and say to them, there's a miracle for you. Come, come with me. Take charge in their life. Take them to a place where the word is, is being spoken, where the faith is being exercised, where they have an opportunity to respond in faith. Be a catalyst in their life to help them get their miracle. So many times we focus on ourselves and we forget that God has placed in our lives people that we love and care about that need miracles too. So this might be a call for ministry to you. You may want to introduce them to Cornerstone. You want to say, this is a channel where you can watch and you can listen and you'll hear God's word. Then you can see the breakthrough. Remember these friends, they were dear friends. Just think of the relationship that they had after he was healed. Think about what life was like for this man. I bet they celebrated big. <laughs> oh yeah, his life was never the same. Your life, if you need the breakthrough, this is an hour for that. So call and let us stand with you. Let us be your friend that will take you to that place of faith, and that place of hope. That's right. If you know somebody that you know they have a need, be that type of friend to them. Reach out to them. Call them today. Or visit them today. Text them or email them today and say, I want to encourage you that God loves you and that he has, he has a breakthrough for you. Don't distance yourself in times of trouble. Close in around them in times of trouble and be that agent of change. You know, there's two kind of people in our life. There's people that lift us up, draw us closer to the Lord, and there's people that pull us down mm -hmm. and pull us away from God. And, and we need, you know, one of the worst things you could ever do is isolate yourself. That's right. As Dawn said, thank God for these four friends. Thank God for that prayer partner that is on the other end That's of the right. line who will be Amen. a friend to you. They're Amen. here to lift you up. They're here to draw you closer to Jesus. 888-665-4483. You know, it says in, 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 in the book of Samuel, Jesus, God, is the Lord of the breakthrough. God wants to break through for you to get your miracle, for you to Amen. be touched and healed today. Amen. So why don't you call right now? There's a friend on the other end of that line that's, that's going right. to lift you up like those friends lifted that that's man right. on the bed and Hallelujah. pulled him up on the roof Hallelujah. and lowered him down to Jesus. And sometimes it requires work, Pastor. Sometimes that friend has to work. They have to dig. That's right. They have to fight. They have to struggle with you to get through to your breakthrough. You need that. This is, this is what we are here to do. This is what you're here to do as part of the family. Judy's called in and she's asked for prayer for her legs and her hips. She has pain in her legs and hips, a burning sensations. And she's disturbed, disturbed about the ISIS <laughs> situation and fearful about terrorists. Well, Judy, I understand that fear and I understand that it's out of our control, but I want to challenge you for just a second. When we watch the work of the enemy, don't allow it to to raise fear up in you. Here's what, instead, let it raise hope up in you. 
because all these things have to occur for Jesus' return. These are just pre pre precursors to the coming of the Lord. He's prophesied, go read in Matthew, Matthew 24, 25, 26, and see what he said is going to happen. And then get excited because when you see these signs and we see the blood moon coming up in, in just a couple of weeks, watch for those signs because God's doing something in his church. So we could choose ISIS is a problem or ISIS is pointing us to the ultimate solution. That doesn't mean we don't pray for those folks, the Christians that are being kidnapped, Christians that are being persecuted around the world, Christians that are being martyred around the world. Let's pray for them and let's see this as God moving through his people, for his people. Pastor. Well, you know, here, here's Dennis who has a friend, friend named Victoria who's going into the hospital. So he's calling on behalf of her. He wants her to get some help. He wants her to get her breakthrough. So we just agree with you, Dennis, for Victoria to be healed. And Dennis also has some issues. He's battling depression, struggling with drugs. So he needs delivered and set free in Jesus Christ's name. I'm here to tell you the Lord is in the house. Amen. His presence is here. And the anointing is here to break every yoke off of you. Call now, 888-665-4483. Norma. Well, here's George, and uh, he called, and uh, he's 85 years old. And he says, in spite of what the enemy has done with his body, George says, I'm still here. <laughs> and so I think I think he means business. He does mean Why business. would he say, I'm still here? So I'm going to take authority over the pain in his feet, the problem with his eyes, the glaucoma, the cataract, the diabetes. In Jesus' name, Lord, Touched. do something big suddenly in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Uh, let, Terry has called, she needs salvation. I think it could be a guy. Terry's a hard name because it's spelled, it could be the one. But God knows exactly who you are. And we're, we're praying right now. You know, salvation, Terry, is the easiest gift from God to receive. And it's his greatest gift because it's an eternal gift. Amen. You know, you can be healed and then get sick again. You know, you, you can uh, be restored in finances and then become poor again. But once you get born again, you can never die again in the spirit. So all you have to do to receive salvation is to pray a simple prayer. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead you in a simple prayer, Terry, right now. I don't wanna go away from this program without you having an opportunity to pray this prayer. And I'll, I just close your eyes with me. If you haven't accepted Jesus, close your eyes and let's follow after me as I pray this prayer. If you are a believer, pray for those who aren't, that they'll come into this place of belief. Father, in Jesus' name, I confess that I'm a sinner. I confess that Jesus came, died on the cross, was raised from the, from the dead, and is now at your right hand, and that he saves me from my sins. I receive Jesus as my Savior. I ask you to fill me with your spirit yes. and lead me on the path that you want me to go on, and I'll commit myself to you the rest of my life in Jesus' name. I received it by faith. Amen. Terry, if you prayed with me that very simple prayer, we want to send you some materials that will help you on your journey, help you to get started. And be aware of this, guys. The enemy wants to come in behind your step of faith and undermine it with some accusation or some lie that uh, wants to, what you, don't want you to go forward. So call us. We're going to give you some materials and plan it in your life so that you can move forward in God's plan for you. 888-665-4483. Pastor. Well, here's Rose. She's calling. She said she needs healing for her family. Now, there again, there's another one. You know, the, the, the psalmist says God sets solitaires in the family to bring out those that are bound with chains. And sometimes you are like that solitaire. You are the one interceding for a lot of your family members. Maybe they don't know the Lord. Maybe they're away from God. Maybe they've told you they don't want anything to do with God. But the Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer 
of righteous men and women avail much. And Rose, as you are interceding for your family, I believe God's going to bring them out of their bondages, out of their chains. That Philippian jailer, when, when, when Paul escaped out of prison, he, the jailer was going to commit suicide. And Paul said, don't do it. No. We're still all here. <laughs> yeah. And so he said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall be saved and your whole household. Amen. God's will is not just for you, Rose, to be saved, but for your whole family's salvation. And we claim house Hold salvation for every one of you that are watching right now. We claim you, Lord. the backslider you, is Lord. coming home. Yes, God. We claim those that do not know the Lord, God, you're going to soften their heart. Yes, you're going to prepare their heart. You're going to put yes, laborers God. into their path Hallelujah. to be a witness to them. Thank you, Lord. And we claim that our whole families. God. shall be saved yes, in God. Jesus Christ's name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bring them all home, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's, let's take a minute, Pastor Meyer, if you'll prepare to lead us in a worship song. Let's just worship God for all He is and all He's done. In the act of worship, in that act of praise, there's breakthrough. Amen. There's breakthrough. So let's let's engage with Pastor Meyer. She leads us in a in a in a, in a season of worship. We'll come back. We'll pray, uh, call out some other prayer requests. Keep calling during this time. 888-665-4483 because we're going to still be here praying and then we'll, we're going to close this program by laying on our hands in faith believing for your prayer need. Pastor Meyer. Lord. Amen, amen. Thank you, Myra. We believe. I always think, Pastor, the, in, in Mark, the ninth chapter, of the miracle when Jesus cast the demons out of the, out of the Father's Son, mm -hmm. and, and he said, uh, do you believe? And Jesus said, all things are possible to those who believe. And the Father looked back at, uh, at Jesus and said, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. Right. And I believe that in our lives sometimes we, we fight this fight between our faith and our doubt. The doubt that the devil plants in our heads and the faith that the Spirit builds up in us. 
and it's all happening in our spirit, not in your mind. You can't logically understand the work of God. You just can't. You can't analytically break down the way God does what he does. He does things in his own ways, Norma. Yeah, he does. Not in our ways. <laughs> Can I tell you a story? I, yes. Um, Arlene said I should tell this sometime, <laughs> so she's not here. So, uh, you know, God takes care of us. Yes, he he does. takes care of us, and we don't even know it. Well, one time, Russell and I and our two younger boys were coming home from a conference, and we were on the Ohio Turnpike. And I, I said to him, I said, Russell. The next service stop, I want you to pull off. And he said, do you have to go to the bathroom? I said, no. He said, well, then why, why do you want to pull off? I said, because we're going to have a flat tire. <laughs> and he said, which tire is going to go flat? I said, the right rear tire is going to go flat. So he, he listened. He pulled off at the next stop. And he turned the key off, and we heard, Psh! It was the right rear tire. Now, it's funny in some ways, but do you know, if we would have continued at the speed we were going on the pen, on that turnpike, the Ohio turnpike, who knows what could have happened. And so he was taking care of us, and we didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. But when he tells you what to do, and then you do it, and you obey, mm -hmm. and he, he blessed us. That's a great, that's a great it's story. It's the truth. Well, I believe it's the truth. And I mean, <laughs> I'd forgotten about it. And one day, you know, God said, you know, I, I'm, I'm taking care of you. And I, I didn't think I was complaining, but he just said, I'm taking care of you. And then a few days later, I remembered that. It was so long ago, yeah. I'd forgotten about it. And so, you know, I don't want this ISIS situation I don't want people to be afraid because God's going to take care of us. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I'm not God. He is. And I refuse to get upset over that in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to share that. He takes care of us because he loves us. Yes, he That's does. exactly right. And I have a, a, a request here uh, from Martha. And Martha is asking for guidance from the Lord. She's asking for peace and a and then she has a dog. And you know what her dog did? It ate two boxes of chocolate Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies. The dog ate two boxes? It ate two boxes. <laughs> so, that sounds like uh, we need to pray for that dog. So how about you? you? Well, we just lost a dog. I know. That uh, ate lots of things she shouldn't eat. I know God's protection. And you think, well, now you guys are really off on the far left thinking that God cares about pets. Well, of course he cares about pets. God says the word says, Jesus said he knows the sparrows, he counts them. He knows, he, knows the, he knows the stars by name. Your God's are way too small if you don't think he cares about every factor in your life. God is, is sovereign. So yeah, let's pray. Did she say what the name of the dog no, was? No, she didn't say. What's her name? Martha. Martha. And she also needed prayer for peace and, and, and guidance. Well, let's pray together. Father God, we pray for Martha. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that one of your fruit is peace. Lord, we pray, Holy Spirit, that you'll fill Martha fresh. Lord, that your peace will be about her like a blanket right now in Jesus' name. And God, that you'll comfort her. And Lord, we don't know the name of this pet. Father, you know the name of the pet. We pray for divine protection over this pet. In Jesus' name, Lord, you care about all that we care about. You give us our pets, God. You give us our loved ones. And we, we thank you right now, Lord, that you provided for us. We thank you that this dog is in your hands. And Martha is in your hands, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to share this little personal story uh, before we go back into prayer time. We did lose our, our pet af after uh, 15 years. Maggie went, went uh, and, and she passed about a month ago or so now. It was a, there's a hole in our life. There really is where Maggie was. We have another dog named Bailey, and I'm just going to tell you real quickly, um, Bailey's sad. I, I, I would think yeah, so. Yeah, Bailey's sad because he doesn't have his, his lifelong friend. And so last night, we had just got back from a trip, and last night went into Bailey, and, and he's been crying. Makes him start crying myself. He, he's crying and just kind of sad. And so I prayed for him. I put my hand on my dog 
our dog, right. not my dog, it's my daughter's dog, but put my hand on that dog and I prayed in Jesus' name for comfort and for peace. You, do you think that God answers those kinds of prayers for pets? I believe he does. I, I believe that God cares about what we care about. And as we trust him, he'll take care of us and our family. And Pastor, you're so much, you're so right. He's ahead of us and Norma, he's got it all taken care of. Yes. Well, the, the proverb says a righteous person cares for their animals. Mm -hmm. So it is scriptural to care for your animal. And if we care, I believe God cares. Folks, there's still time for you to get in and pray and call that number, 888-665-4483. If you need healing in your life, if you need a breakthrough, maybe you are like that paralyzed man in Mark 2 and uh, you just are at a point where if you don't get a breakthrough, you don't know what you're going to do. But I believe the Lord will for your life is that you would experience a breakthrough today. So call that number, release your faith, 888-665-4483. Maybe you have a family member that you are desiring to be saved or to come back from the Lord, or maybe they need deliverance. Maybe they're in some addiction to alcohol or to drugs or to prescription drugs. The Lord is our deliverer. The Bible says whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Amen. Gail called. She's asking for prayer, for guidance. She believes there's a call of God on her life, but she said it hasn't yet happened. It hasn't yet manifested. Now, I remember when the Lord put the call of God on my life many years ago. And I can tell you that one of the most difficult years of my life was from the point that I sensed that call until I was released from the secular job that I was working at the time to be able to go to Bible college and Bible school. So I understand maybe you're feeling frustrated. Maybe you're wondering. I love what Dawn shared. You know, faith doesn't come from your head. Logic is the guillotine of your faith. It It'll cut the head right off of your faith. You have to believe in your spirit. And you know what you got to do, Gail? You got to trust him. God's timing is perfect. You have to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. We shared in a recent program, delay does not mean denial. Mm -hmm. That call of God's not going to lift off of your life because the gifts and calling are without repentance. They never change. So you stay encouraged and I believe God's going to fulfill that call on your life. Well, we got a call from Barbara, who I think is calling for a son, Joshua, who needs deliverance, Pastor, from depression and from emotional problems and has some financial issues too. So just as you said, the enemy comes in and tries to pull down. Yes. And you need to stand for your family with your family members. Remember the teaching today. Those men took their friend to, the, to Jesus. You need to take your friends and your family to Jesus and give them to him and let him touch their lives. And that can be symbolically, you do it through prayer. You can literally do it. You can literally do it and say, come and go with me to this meeting or to this concert or to whatever. Or watch the television program with me. Go over and sit with them and watch the Signs and Wonders program and see watch it with them. I mean, that's the simple way that's right. to communicate. And to that's, be a friend to them. We're going to be praying, Barbara, with you and for Joshua, and we're going to lay hands on and pray in just a few minutes. Can I tell you that the, somebody's right foot's being healed, mm. and there's a, some, something wrong in the muscle of a, of a right leg. I don't know if the two go together or they're separate. And the Lord is working in teeth. He's healing, he's healing teeth. Mm. And there's somebody, there's somebody that's... Uh, uh, has a problem with their eye and they've been to the doctor and he's trying to help but there's a problem in his left eye. I don't know what the problem is but please don't worry because God is working there and also there's somebody that has had 
the flu, they've had one thing after another, and they're really discouraged. And I want to tell you, I know you've been praying, and I know you've been trusting the Lord, and He's heard your prayers. So get well in Jesus' name. And then, and then I want to bring up this person, uh, Mary. She has cancer, I suppose, because it says a brain tumor. And you know, cancer is only a word. It's the name of a disease. But, you know, everything has to bow to the name Amen. of Jesus. That's right. So would you like to pray for... Let's, let's pray for all of these well, requests. Before we do, I'm going to put this... I've, I've got to call this out. We can't read everybody's, but this, this one touches my heart. And I don't know. I think it's just the spirit that's leading me to call them out. Francis, would you say that's Francis? Yes. And I would say that's a, a woman. Uh, that, you say? That's a mother. That's a, well, a mother. I think. And Francis is 94 years old. Francis, what a what what a, a long life you've been given. Thank God you've got more time left. But she's calling for her son Frank, who's 69 years old, that has Parkinson's disease. Now, see, there's a this is a perfect example of taking somebody to the Lord. Amen. So that's what we're talking about in this whole program. Francis is bringing her son to the Lord for his for his issue. It's her faith that made the phone call, That's right. not Frank's faith that made the phone call. It wasn't the man in the bed's faith that carried him to, the, to Jesus. It was the carriers, the four guys who carried him. So, Francis, we are going to pray for you. And let, in fact, now's the time to pray. Praise God. Pastor, will you lead us? <clears throat> Father, we do. We, we thank you that you honor the faith of friends and mothers and people in our lives. And we join our faith today. And we send the word of healing to Frank and to many others that are watching today. We send the word into hospitals, nursing homes, jail cells, wherever people are watching at home or in hotels. Lord, for that one young man who's bound with addictions, we break that spirit of bondage and addiction over his life. Yes. And we thank you for setting him free. Lord, save the lost souls. Restore what the enemy has stolen. We bind the strong man, Satan, over every life. We bind discouragement, hopelessness. Yes. And Lord, those like that man in Mark 2 that need a breakthrough, be the Lord of their breakthrough today. Break through on their behalf. Heal them. Amaze us, Lord. Amaze us with things we've never seen before. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Remember, Jesus loves you. He does. He loves you. Say it out loud. Jesus loves you. He does love you because the Bible says so. Amen. And all that he's done, all that he's, just remember the word of your testimony, your own testimony. When the, when the enemy comes at you like a flood and he roars around your house and tells you all these things are going to happen to you, just pause and think back about what God has done. Think back about the goodness of God. Think about your salvation. Amen. Think about the times he's answered your prayer. Don't believe the lie, the love of God. Surround yourself with the love of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody needs just to dip themselves in that love and experience him fresh and new as we get ready to go into the Easter season. Let this Lenten season be a time for you to know that God loves you and he has a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful plan for your life. Well, let's go and close as we close the program with Pastor Myra Bell as she sings, Take Me Back. The Word today has been telling us to just have faith in God. And many of us remember when we first started out in God, when we first started, we had all kind of faith, no matter what. And God is saying, go back 